I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 6th of February. It looks like a pretty quiet week here, but of course, everybody's asking, are we going to have any snow and ice this season? And hey, what's this tropical thing? There's actually a lot to talk about this morning, so let's get in there and uh, take a look. First off, a reminder, we're taking our Severe Weather Awareness Tour to Phil Campbell this Thursday evening. Of course, we started off uh, last week in Tuscaloosa with a packed house at Central High School, and uh, we'll be in Phil Campbell at the Community College on Thursday. You know, we, we were, we're going to take it to Hackleburg, but there's just not a large enough indoor venue there for us. So we'll be up the road in Phil Campbell. And, of course, that city was hit by that big EF5 as well up in Franklin County. So we'll be at the Community College in Phil Campbell Thursday evening at 630. And we sure hope to see you there. Get there early to get a good seat. All right, let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. Coming from Tuscaloosa, it's fair and cool. Most folks are in the 40s. There's the Fayette Skycam, Fayette County Courthouse there. And we'll go now to one of our Shelby County Skycams. That's the one on the campus of the University of Montevallo. And I will be at that spot this morning. A little later to uh, speak to some students there. Big upper low is over the Rockies, sending out little weak uh, waves from time to time. And I don't know. The air is just so dry. I, I don't think the chance of rain is significant. Having said that, that's the radar at 538 this morning. And there's actually a few sprinkles over parts of southwest Alabama, uh, Dallas and Wilcox, Monroe and Clark counties. But the northern half of the state is dry. And we're not going to mention any significant chance of rain. There could be a spritz or two somewhere along the way. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 40s, although Haleyville's dropped to 37. Birmingham sitting at 44. And around the nation, temperatures, I'd say, are seasonal for early February, maybe a tad warmer than average. If you really want some warm weather, maybe head down to Miami where they've got 70. And speaking of Miami, hey, the circle guys are out here in February. They've got a 30% chance of that uh, clump of uh, storms near Key West developing into a subtropical storm. It's happened before as early as uh, early February, but it doesn't happen very often. You know, hurricane season doesn't start until June 1st, but we've had tropical storms in February. We've had hurricanes in March, so it's not unprecedented. But uh, this morning, there's the, uh, uh, the enhanced uh, IR imagery showing that uh, massive convection really east of Key West now, and, and there's the radar out of Key West this morning at 538, and it looks like it's kind of passing Florida by, and I, I don't think... Much will happen. That will be merging with the front. And uh, no, I don't think it gets a name. But just an interesting little observation down there. Okay, there's the uh, watch warning map for the rest of the nation. And really quiet, just some fog problems. There's some freezing fog uh, north of Kansas City. And uh, really, that's about it. And rain for the next five days. How about nothing here? Valid through Friday evening at 6 o'clock. All right, model fans. This is the 06 EGFS at noon today. You can see one little chunk of energy coming off the upper low is passing well north of here, and it just looks dry. We'll call it partly sunny. Upper 50s today, uh, just a little above average. Uh, tomorrow looks pretty nice. Uh, again, partly sunny with low 60s. Thickness values come up a little bit. Wednesday, high should be around 60. Looks like a northerly flow begins to develop, a dry cold front coming in. And Thursday, the thickness values drop a little bit. Highs probably drop into the uh, mid-50s on Thursday. And the sky should be sunny uh, as the uh, moisture really clears out. Friday, temperatures exactly where they should be. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. It will be dry. Saturday, starting off the weekend, uh, starting to look a little colder with troughing over the east. Uh, down below that, the uh, 540 line comes on down to uh, just below Birmingham. And that'll maybe keep us in the 40s all day Saturday with a 1032 high over Missouri. And uh, Sunday, Sunday morning will be pretty cold if this is right. We'd be in the mid-20s and highs in the uh, low 50s. Let's check the uh, European. This is uh, Saturday. It's even colder. It's got the 540 line below Montgomery with a pretty good breeze. Uh, that would be a kind of a blustery cold day with highs in the 40s and uh, Sunday pretty much the same deal we moderate somewhat with low 50s but again Sunday morning looks like we'll be well down in the 20s maybe some of the colder valleys making a run for the upper teens we'll go to um, Monday of next week 
Looks pretty calm there. So really, uh, uh, maybe a seven-day stretch of dry weather. That's uh, the uh, 13th. Uh, I thought I'd show you the end of the European. This is the uh, 15th of February. Now, this is a severe weather look here, if this is right. Got a sub-1,000 millibar low at Fayetteville, Arkansas, with a big uh, thunderstorm threat there and very cold air blowing down into uh, Texas with a 540 line way below the Rio Grande. But uh, I don't know. The, the, the GFS is not showing that. We go to the... Uh, GFS on the 18th, and it's got more of a snow look there for places like Nashville and Memphis and uh, Louisville, Kentucky, if this is right. So you can see the models are all over the board. You know, you got the, the Europeans showing severe weather and the GFS showing, you know, snow for Tennessee and Kentucky. We'll uh, check the end of the forecast on the 21st on this operational run. Uh, it's got this upper low uh, near Long Island and kind of cold, but nothing too exciting there. Again, we'll check the North Atlantic Oscillation, and, uh, you know, this is for us to have that late-season cold snap. You want to see those red lines go below that neutral line, and it's just not happening. The ensembles are, are keeping it positive, although it's trending downward toward the end. And again, you know, it is so cold over so much of the Northern Hemisphere. You just have to feel that, you know, we might have some late-season winter mischief here. I, you know, who knows? That's not a forecast. It's just a feeling, but... Goodness, the uh, the evidence is certainly on the table. And just because you have a very mild January and maybe even part of February, that doesn't mean March is going to be mild. So uh, we'll just sit back and wait and watch. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.